Hello, my name is Mauricio Sulaiman. I am the president of the WBC. And all I can say is that since I ever can remember anything, it was all about boxing. My dear father, Jose Sulaiman, dedicated his life to the WBC, to his fighters, to the dreams, to the so many needs to change boxing, to make it a safer sport, a better sport, an inclusive sport. And I am so proud to lead the WBC with so many people that share the same principles and the same values as my father, Jose Sulaiman. It is because of you that the WBC operates in 170 countries today. It is because of our champions, our promoters, all the ones that are in this great boxing industry that the WBC can change so many lives day after day. Today, we're here celebrating the 60th anniversary, 60 years of hard work, 60 years of making the WBC proud from 15 to 12 rounds, and weighing before the day of the bout, anti-doping tests, and there's so many changes that we have done all through collaboration, mutual respect, and of course, the reciprocity with the boxing federations, boxing commissions of all over the world. I join you to please enjoy the WBC 60th anniversary video. It shows how from the first convention until now that we're here in Uzbekistan, how we have changed the world together. Because together we stand, divided we fall. God bless you, let's enjoy and thank you. And please join day after day and invite others to join this movement for a better boxing, a safer boxing. Enjoy. Boxing is the oldest sport on earth. From the caveman era to Egypt, Greece, Mesopotamia, Rome. Finally, boxing found a home in England, where the first rules were implemented by Jack Broughton, followed by the Marquis of Queensberry rules. Then, boxing jumped to the United States and the rest of the world. But it was a sport of abuse, exploitation of the boxer to the point of being inhuman, and the exacerbation of a sport as a raw business, with a thirst for blood and dollars. Injured boxers were left alone to face their luck without the least interest for their health and integrity. There were no chances for the best boxers to fight for the world title, and fans associated boxing with the Mafia. Welcome to World News. Today we will be talking about 1963. 1963 was a year of great historical impact in the world. 1963 was the stage for the historic march of Dr. Martin Luther King's greatest triumph in Washington. Then, the early involvement of the United States in the Vietnam War. Pope John XXIII passed away. The first artificial heart implant was done successfully in Houston, Texas by Dr. Michael DeBakey. Then, on November 22nd, the shattering horror of President John F. Kennedy's assassination. In the world of entertainment, the start of the Beatlemania that revolutionized the world of music. In sports, the world of boxing was shattered when boxer Davey Moore died after his fight with Ultiminio Ramos and steered the debate on whether boxing should be banned. The name of the greatest boxer of all time was still Cassius Clay. Also in 1963, the World Boxing Council was founded in Mexico City. Here's the story, folks. The WBC was founded in 1963 in Mexico City. As representatives of 11 countries, met for the first time 
in search of unity and reciprocity in the sport. It was then that boxing found a home to revolutionize a sport which was brutal, abusive, and even inhuman. 1968 Paris, France. During this convention, the mandatory contender rule was created to avoid champions not fighting the best and dangerous opponents. The WBC created the purse offer procedures for mandatory fights to maximize the purses of the fighters. 1973 Brazil In Brazil, the anti-doping regulation was implemented for champions and challengers with mandatory testing after each championship bout. Anti-doping regulations are today one of the most important priorities of the WBC and the whole world of sports. The light flight weight was created. 1975 Tunisia The important rules, regulations and actions implemented by the WBC, which have become the rules of modern boxing, started during the convention in Tunisia, North Africa in 1975. José Sulaiman was elected president of the WBC by acclamation of the voting members. When I was elected, I decided that if I was going to take uh, this position, I could not accept only to raid boxers and to sanction world title fights. I asked my colleagues at the time their support in changing our attitude and uh, go into other, other paths. And one of them was definitely the sports medicine into boxing. The other one was the WBC fight against apartheid. Our strive for human equality. To show the world that the only difference in color in boxing are only the colors of the trunks of our boxers. The first action taken was to expel South Africa, banning any boxing activity due to the apartheid regime in that country. This action led to many other sport organizations to do the same. Eventually, the world succeeded and Nelson Mandela was freed and became president. Also this year, the Super Bantamweight division was created. Who can forget the years that the Mexican boxer Raul Raton Macias stayed as a Bantamweight, being subjected to inhuman sacrifices for weight reductions. He couldn't move up the four or five kilograms of the time from the bantamweight division to the featherweight division. And that was one of the bases why we decided to start and open the intermediate divisions. Thanks to this WBC decision, it has been that some of the greatest fighters of the last two decades have become heroes of the world of boxing. 1976 Las Vegas. The WBC instituted three judges to score the bouts. Referees used to score the fights, so the WBC implemented non-scoring referees to allow their absolute attention on the boxer's safety and enforcement of boxing contest rules. The green belt was born. So in 1976, right after Tunis, we implemented the championship belt, which was green, which is the color of the WBC. And that has been today 
one of the most popular things by anybody in the sport of boxing. And I can tell you with pride that no champion of the world can claim himself to be the champion if he has not gained the green championship belt of the WBC. The World Medical Committee was instituted to review and update safety rules. Mandatory yearly medical examinations were instituted. 1977 Madrid, Spain. King Juan Carlos opens the convention. Prohibition of the use of stimulants, hemostatic and smelling salts during bouts. Banning of diet pills, diuretics, stimulants and all types of drugs. Mandatory rest periods and special neurological exams after knockouts. Mandatory annual medical examinations including MRIs. Nineteen seventy eight Reno, USA. At this convention, the eight second mandatory count was instituted. Also, the abolition of the belt saving the knockdown boxer. The cruiserweight division was created. 1979 Casablanca. The thumb attached glove was created. The super flyweight division was created. Mandatory life and medical expenses and insurance for $100,000 for each participant in every WBC world title fight. 1980 Mexico. The fourth rope ring is approved. The WBC introduced the fourth rope in the ring to reduce the distance between them and made the lower ones less tense to avoid the so many injuries which came from the fighters falling into the third rope. The WBC started using computer systems for keeping records and statistics. 1981, Seoul, Korea. The battling Siki project begins to bring his remains back to Senegal. Siki was the first ever world champion from Africa. He was finally brought home in 1983 after the great efforts of the WBC and James Mercante. 1982, Venice, Italy. In Venice, one of the rules that changed the sport was created. From January 1st, 1983, all world title bouts would be 12 rounds and not 15. Without a doubt, one of the most important rules ever to be created, as it has saved countless lives and enhanced the quality of fighters after their boxing career. I believe that, uh, without a doubt, the WBC rule that has given us more satisfaction and pride has been the 12-round rule. Jacopucci, after 14 rounds with Alan Minter, had a fatal accident. Duku Kim, also in the 14th round. Johnny Owen, on the 13th round. And there were many occasions that we had also to see how in the last rounds of fight the boxers pounded so much to each other that they ended going to the hospital and uh, 
acquiring irreversible injuries on such dramatic 15-round uh, bouts of the time. The WBC created the 12-round rule. I believe that I have personally never in my life received so many attacks. I was even almost called a criminal. But today, the 12-round rule stands as one of the most important rules in the history of world championships. 1983, Las Vegas. The WBC begins the journey to request a presidential pardon for Jack Johnson from his incarceration from a hate crime. After many years of continuous actions and efforts by many, Johnson received such pardon in 2017 by the President of the United States, Donald Trump, at the White House. Mauricio, do you want to say something about the champ? Mr. President, on behalf of the world of boxing, I would like to praise, congratulate, and thank you for taking this gigantic step for human equality and inclusion. Jack Johnson was the inspiration of many, including Muhammad Ali. This is a great day for the sport, a great day for humanity, and I'm just very proud to be here with the best ambassador <laughs> boxing has ever had, I agree with Sylvester that. Stallone. I agree Rocky with that. has motivated so many generations. Uh, Lennox Lewis, one of the greatest champions in the history true. of boxing, and our current king, Deontay Wilder. It is just an unbelievable day for us, and all I can say, just the way you promoted our sport in the 90s, you're doing so many things now for the sport of boxing, which is unbelievable and we cannot thank you enough. And our country is doing great. It's nice to see, but we are really doing great. 1985, Bangkok, Thailand. King Bumidol Adul Yadiech opens the convention. In Bangkok, the Continental America's title is approved. 1986, Aruba. The straw weight division, 105 pounds, was created. Also, the creation of the international championship. 1987, London, England. In London, the super middleweight division was created. 1988, Mexico City. We had a great convention where the World Boxing Council was born. 1988. Also this year, Jose Sulaiman received a citation by the United Nations in New York for his 19 years of leadership in the world against apartheid and racial discrimination under the secretary Javier Pérez de Cuellar. 1991, Bangkok, Thailand. Crown Prince Maha Bajira Longkorn opens the convention. 1992. At this convention, another groundbreaking rule was created. Weigh-ins 24 hours before the fight to prevent the excessive abuse of the body and dehydration while trying to lose weight. Also, many, many, many boxers have uh, in the past explained how many problems they have. They cannot sleep all night thinking of the first rival of the following day to his was the scale. For that reason, and under a medical recommendation is that the WBC created the way in the eve of the fights. In this manner, boxers would rehydrate, would sleep all night, would rest, would be in such a position that the following day, they would go into the ring stronger uh, and definitely 
a uh, respect to the boxing fans of the world who paid the ticket to go and see a fight where boxers are at optimum conditions. So we think that the weigh-ins on the eaves are also one of the best things that WBC has ever done. Today, this and the 12-round rule are the standard of boxing worldwide. 1992, Cancun. The abolition of six ounce gloves. Nineteen ninety three, Las Vegas. Ruben Hurricane Carter is crowned as honorary WBC champion in recognition to his innocence as he was deprived from becoming the world champion due to discrimination and incarceration. 1996, Buenos Aires, Argentina. The president of Argentina, Carlos Saúl Menem, opened our convention. 1998, Johannesburg, South Africa. One of the dreams of Jose Sulaiman and the WBC materialized in South Africa when President Nelson Mandela opened our convention. This crowned all the efforts of our fight for human equality. The WBC was the first sports organization to take a stance against apartheid in 1975, and President Mandela, an amateur boxer himself, gave his full support to the WBC. The red and green cards are instituted as a way of communication between the referee and the doctor when they speak different language. Nineteen ninety nine, Moscow. Mikhail Gorbachev received the WBC board. The WBC opened its arms to the younger generations, creating the Youth Championships. 2000, Mexico City. President Ernesto Cedillo opens the convention. 2003, Moscow. The Emeritus Champion designation is implemented. 2004 Phuket, Thailand A new era for the boxing world began in Phuket with the approval of the WBC Women's Championships. 4 years of study and implementation, the WBC Muay Thai Committee is created. 2005 La Línea, Spain As an improvement to one of our milestones in modern boxing, implementation of precaution weigh-ins 30 and 7 days before the fight. 2006, Dubrovnik, Croatia. President Stefan Mesic opened the convention. The WBC Amateur Committee is created as a result of the horrendous administration of AIVA threatening the integrity of our sport. The WBC CARES program is born under the leadership of Jill Diamond. 
It was also in 2006, the great celebration of the Night of Champions in Cancun. Two thousand seven, Manila, Philippines. President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo opened the convention. CAS is instituted as the only resource to resolve legal grievances and disputes in boxing. The construction of the Rocky Marciano Monument was approved. The Drug and Alcohol Rehabilitation Committee was created. 2008, Chengdu. For the first time in history, China is open to the boxing world and was the host of a WBC convention. Also in 2008, the creation of the Carlos Slim Ring Telmex program, which supports fighters to have the opportunity to concentrate in their boxing career and it has generated 23 world champions, being Canelo Álvarez the first from its generation. Yo quiero felicitar a Ring Telmex, a la empresa, a Don Carlos Slim, por todo el apoyo extraordinario que le ha dado al boxeo mexicano. 2009, Jeju, Korea. The Silver Championship was created, which is a world-level title as a final step before the World Championship. Also in 2009, the Night of Champions celebration in Cardiff, Wales. Two thousand ten Cancun, Mexico. The WBC instituted the instant replay during championship bouts. As in all sports, this rule has given justice to unseen actions by the referee, which can change the outcome of a fight. Even still today, there are some boxing authorities not allowing this rule to be used in their jurisdictions. Two thousand eleven Las Vegas. Electrolyte drinks are confirmed and approved during fights for better rehydration. Two thousand twelve Cancun, Mexico. Jose Sulaiman crowns Muhammad Ali as the king of boxing. The Professional Boxing World Cup was approved. The Jose Sulaiman Boxers Fund was created to help the boxers that gave so many moments of joy and inspiration that have fallen in need and despair. With an agreement with Hublot, Two great events took place to raise funds for our boxers. Jose Sulaiman received a Guinness World Record as the longest administration as president of a world organization. On a gloomy day of January 2014, our president Jose Sulaiman passed away leaving us with specific instructions. Protect the boxers at all costs and make the sport of boxing safer and better. A man who devoted his life to serve left us a better world and the certainty that we can always improve our sport. And as he said, the impossible takes just a little longer. With his teachings and blessings, we will continue to work for the boxers of the world and the sport of our love. Two thousand fourteen Las Vegas. 
After the passing of our beloved eternal president, José Sulaimán, Mauricio Sulaimán presided his first convention as president of the World Boxing Council in Las Vegas. Noise-canceling headphones for judges are introduced to improve their concentration. 2014, Playa del Carmen, Mexico. The WBC organized the first ever convention in the history of our sport to our women warriors, who deserve the same respect, attention, and importance. More than 40 women were present in an homage to Christy Martin and Laura Serrano. The two-minute rounds are ratified, as well as maximum 10-round bouts, recognizing the need to protect the integrity of our athletes. 2015, Kunming, China. Also striving for order and respect, the WBC Code of Ethics was written. Also, the mismatch prevention system was developed. Florida 2016. The clean boxing program is created with an agreement with VADA for its administration. The WBC Trainers Committee was created and the trainer's belt is introduced. Pope Francis Foundation appoints the WBC to run the worldwide Box Val program, Boxing with Values. Francisco, quiero que nos dé la bendición, por favor, para que se nos salga a todos el chamuco. 2016, Tijuana, Mexico. Tijuana hosted the second WBC Women's Convention. Alani Ali was recognized for her humanitarian work. 2017, Baku, Azerbaijan. President Ilham Aliyev received the Board of Governors. The creation of the May 5th and September 16 WBC commemorative belts. 2018, Kyiv, Ukraine. President Petro Poroshenko received the WBC Board of Governors. Kyiv's major and WBC Emeritus Champion, Vitaly Klitschko, opens a convention. The Weight Management Committee and Program is created. At this convention, the precaution weigh-ins protocol is modified to 30 days with a maximum limit of 10%. 14 days with 5%. And 7 days, 3%. 2018, Manila, Philippines. Manila hosted the third WBC Women's World Convention, where the medical studies were the center of the work, as well as a clean boxing program for women. Two thousand nineteen Cancun. With great pride, the WBC made a homage to the two biggest boxing promoters of all time, Don King and Bob Arra. We celebrated the boxing career of Julio Cesar Chavez. Adonis Stevenson is crowned as the champion of hope. 2020 Mexico City. The WBC could not stay inactive during the COVID-19 pandemic and held the first online convention in the world of sports, preceded by Mauricio Sulaiman from the offices in Mexico and the participation of all the boxing community around the world. The Bridger Way division is created as a homage to Bridger Walker. 
Ratings Committee by Monthly Video Conference. Also, the Heroes of Humanity Awards are instituted. Two thousand twenty one Mexico City. The Major of Mexico City, Claudia Sheinbaum, opens the convention. Great homages were rendered to legendary champions Floyd Mayweather, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, Larry Holmes, to name just a few. And current superstars like Canelo Alvarez were celebrated in an incredible gathering of champions. Two thousand twenty two Acapulco. One of the major topics during this convention was the urgent need to attract young audiences to boxing, bring fans back to the arenas, and to support fighters with social media activity to increase their market volume. The WBC University second stage to continue training, evaluating, and the certification program for ring officials, doctors, trainers, and even members from the media and fans. The amateur boxing crisis and the danger of disappearing boxing from the Olympic Games. The major announcement was the partnership with Conexión Facil to create the WBC Box Med application to safeguard boxer safety initiating with the weight management program. The WBC firmly confirmed to never allow a born male fight against a born female. The WBC is devoted to making boxing better and safer for the boxers of the world. To give them dignity and respect and protect our fighters before, during and after their years of glory. Our sole purpose of existence is the boxer. Long live boxing. Long live the WBC.